Welcome back to Mock the Mock, where we take a look at someone else's mock draft. And we mock it, and we're taking a look, if you couldn't tell, at CBS's mock draft, courtesy of Ryan Wilson. CBS, they always have the most interesting mock draft. But maybe this one's going to be a bit more based. But what's crack lacking? It's your boy, Broshmo, just in case you did not know. So go ahead, become a bro, and subscribe. Leave that thumbs up if you enjoy the content and as always let me know what you think in the comment section below let's go ahead and get this sucker rolling i got my coffee gonna keep the voice uh keep the voice uh moist and damp that way uh i can speak <laughs> so it says in our latest mock draft three quarterbacks find their way into the first round Ooh, i assume carson strong might be one of them man let me tell you i just recorded uh, my wide receiver tight end video, and I was like, man, I hope that's not over 30 minutes. And then I found out I didn't even hit the record button, so I'm kind of on tilt. So I'm I I might go in on some of these. I might go on in some of these. I like this commercial, by the way. Like, look at this dude's face. Like, so fed up, so done, so funny. Anyway, Aiden Hutchinson going number one to the Detroit Lions. Who would have thought it is what it is? Uh, he had a banger game against Ohio State. Everyone's probably going to put him above. Thibodeau at this point, for me, they're 1A, 1B. Flip a coin. Tell me who you like. All right, Houston Texans. Matt Corral. Man, Matt Corral to the Houston Texans. They go ahead and get their quarterback of the future. I don't know, man. You're the te if I'm the Texans, I'm like, screw that, dude. Let's just go ahead and I don't know. Just beef up the team. Give Davis Mills another shot. And maybe and hopefully next year it's a better quarterback class. I don't think this team's gonna improve that much next year. They'll probably still be in the top five. And hopefully there's like better quarterbacks going on there. Go Joe, what you doing back there? Really, you're going to pull this stunt when I'm recording? I swear, this dog, this dog. But yeah, I don't like the idea of taking a quarterback this early. I don't think there's a quarterback worth worth it this early right now as it stands. A lot of people like Matt Corral. Um, here's my question. Do you think he was? Do you think he's a better prospect than Zach Wilson? I don't. And Corral has worse size. And we've seen, you again, you're going to worry about the size like in terms of longevity. Russell Wilson, he's been good about it. He's good about, you know, not getting hit. Um, Baker, he's starting to have issues now. He's been beat up. Zach Wilson was beat up to start his career. Kyler Murray, the ankle, he's been out for like the last three weeks. So you worry about these smaller quarterbacks, how will their body will hold up. Not too much so, like, not so much so that you wouldn't draft them pretty highly. You just got to teach them, you know, to protect their body like Russell Wilson. But, oh, uh, yeah, I ain't about this, man. I ain't about this. Uh, Kem Ikwanu going to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, listen, hey, I don't mind this. Him or Evan Neal, you know, if you like Icky over Evan Neal, then cool, have at it. I'm not there, and I really like Icky. I've been, I've been, dude, I've probably been one of the only guys that had this guy in my top 10, and all of a sudden, oh, now he's a top 10 prospect for a lot of people. Screw you, draft community. They're, the other guy I really like, Kingsley and Agbari, they're probably not gonna, get, they're not gonna get on him about being a top 10, but I really love him as a prospect. And maybe that's just me having blinders. Remember, I love Tamari and Terry and Jamie Newman. I'm not perfect. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't mind Icky going here. Uh, oh, Revan Neal, uh, that's a bit much for me, but hey, uh, Kayvon Thibodeau is still on the board, by the way. Uh, not anymore, though. Going to the Jets. This is a good pick. Take him. If he makes it to four some way, somehow, you take him. And then they go Evan Neal. Uh, I think those are Boehner picks, man. And this is t this is your typical Joe Douglas. He, he likes to address the trenches, so... For me, this is very believable. Uh, I'd be interested to see what, like, what a three round would look. What how he would have the Jets draft in round two and three. Uh, the New York Giants. I think they have back to back picks here. Yeah, let's just go over both of them. Kyle Hamilton, 
Derek Stanley. I don't like Kyle Hamilton. I get it. Don't. He's a blue chip prospect. I'm not passing up on that. I'm not going to pass up on that. I don't care what you have back there. Well, we have Jabril Peppers and Xavier McKinney and uh, Logan Ryan. Screw that. Kyle Hamilton is on another level. Derek Stanley, I don't get. Adoree's been good. Uh, James Bradbury's been good. They've had... um, They kind of have, like, in sub-packages, like, in the slot or as a dime. Uh, They have, like, Xavier McKinney, Julian Love, and... uh, Darnay Holmes kind of fill in those spots. But keep in mind, they did draft also Aaron Robinson, who's kind of primed for the slot. I don't get get, getting Derek Stanley here. Like, what contract are you going to shed? Like, I don't get it. Where Okay, where where else would I go? I don't know. Tyler Linderbaum? I think that makes a lot more sense. And I know it's not sexy, but let's be honest, the Giants offensive line, it sucks. It's bad. It's bad one of the worst in the leagues and i'm a dolphins fan look at and i look over i'm like ooh, that's a bad line just saying uh washington football team they go Kenyon green i'm pretty high on Kenyon green uh he and you know what if they don't if they don't trust a quarterback if they're like you know what taylor heineke he might be ryan fitz magic light but he ain't half bad we'll wait till a better quarterback class hopefully next year uh, they do have big contracts coming up on the offensive line in Sheriff, Charles Leno, Corn- uh, Anelius Lucas. And I get with Green, oh, he could play guard or he could play tackle. I still would go Charles Cross just because I got him higher on my board. But I'm not going to fret. Uh, Eagles have the next two picks correct, so let's go over both these. N'Kobe Dean, Andrew Booth. I get it. Andrew Booth, the dude's been hot recently. I think it lasts... Four games, he has three interceptions, two pass breakups. So if he's your quarterback too, I don't mind it one bit. Let's see how he finishes the rest of the season. I'm just saying, he started the year off pretty crappy. Uh, N'Kobe Dean, probably uh, the best linebacker in this class just because I love guys like N'Kobe Dean who are just these freak athletes. They're monsters in coverage, which that was the thing, dude. He took such a big step up in coverage. So unbelievable. So I don't mind this. I don't mind this. Um, other places you can go is maybe Edge, uh, which you have Kingsley and Agbari. You got George Karloftis, um, David Ajobo. I would say those are the next guys up. Uh, DeMarvin Leal, uh, who I'm still a big fan of is just this seems a bit high for him unless you see him as an interior guy I don't know he's gonna be a tough guy to evaluate if he comes out Charles Cross going to the Carolina Panthers as we see the uh, Falcons are in the next pick but who do they pick I don't mind Charles Cross like it, it's like oh great another year Sam Darnold or maybe Cam Newton it's like I don't know. Get a free agent. I don't know. Do Do you want to Do you want to go all in on like a? I want mine going in on Sam Howe. At this point, Malik Willis. I want mine that, but you still gotta. You better address your line in the off season because it's bad. Like outside of Taylor Moton, you could realistically replace everyone else on that line. So, yeah, I like him. Kenny Pickett. It's the Kenny Pickett show. Uh, if you're not new to the channel, you know that. When it comes to Kenny Pickett, I just I see him as this Kirk Cousins like quarterback, where he's top fifteen, top twelve any given year. Um, occasionally he might breach the top ten, but you also have to surround him with the right talent, much like the Kirk, the Minnesota has done with Kirk Cousins, which you could win with that. I just don't think he's elite. Hey, go just stop that, dude. What are you doing? Scratching the carpet trying to make a seat over there you crazy gojo like i don't mind taking troll or um kenny pickett or like if i'm one of those like pl- fringe like playoff teams uh that could use an upgrade maybe at quarterback like like cleveland browns at this point baker man i know he's deemed up but really what has he been since his rookie season? It's kind of worrisome. I think he's replaceable at this point. Um, uh, maybe you make the case for Carson Wentz, but 
I know. Uh, that's he, the dude's winning games. They were competing with the Bucks just this past weekend. So, I, like, I just bring that up, you know, as a matter of. Uh, even with Pit, uh, Philly, the Philadelphia Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles, yeah, with their next pick, with their third pick, I wouldn't mind taking them there. But it's just for me, Sam Howe, I think he has like elite upside. Malik Willis, he has elite upside. Those are guys that I can believe can be top five, top seven quarterbacks in the league that, that can elevate mediocre teams. Um, I don't know if Kenny Pickett's that, but I get it. a lot of people like him. Um, I, I'm co I've come around to him as a first rounder, but just not this high. Uh, Carson Strong going with the next pick, talking about guys I don't have as first rounders. Uh, Carson Strong. The mobility thing, mm. apparently the knee's an issue. I'm going to have to look into that. I don't really know about that. But it's not like he's a mobile quarterback anyway. Um, his pocket presence looks a bit better this year. He's not really looking like Jacob uh, Eason or Carson Wentz in terms of the pocket presence. But again, you put these guys behind great lines. Like We've seen what Carson Wentz looks like behind a really good offensive line. And he looks good. He looks good. But this dude's got a huge arm. Cannon. Cannon. Uh, this is for the Saints. So we're putting him behind a good offensive line. If you don't take the guard play into consideration. Um, I don't know. I'd rather bring back Jameis, man. I'm, in all honesty. And they just re-signed Taysom Hill to a, a meaty contract for a player of his caliber. Philadelphia Eagles, Garrett Wilson. I like this pick a lot, man. Because let's be honest about Jalen Rager. It's like Nelson Aguilar uh, 2.0. And, dude, Garrett Wilson is just a great. He's the best receiver in this class. I really like. I actually like this pick. So, Philly's picks are interesting. I like them. I like them. Uh, here we are with the Cleveland Browns. They choose to just buff up the receiving core. They get Jamison Williams. My question is, is he, would he be the uh, Jarvis Landry role? Is that more of what he is? I don't think so. You could use Williams on the outside and the slot a variety of different ways. Uh, so they're just getting Baker more, I guess, more help. Uh, honestly, I think Baker just needs to get healthy. So I don't mind Williams here. And as the second wide receiver off the board, I think it makes a ton of sense. I really think he's probably going to eclipse uh, Chris Olave as the top uh, speedster in this class. Tyler Linderbaum going to the Steelers. Not a sexy pick. I think it's kind of sexy because then you can move Kendrick Green to, um, to guard, which I think is a more natural position for him. Listen, Big Ben sucks. I would go quarterback. You might be like, we don't like to draft quarterbacks. Well, that's because, you know, you haven't had to draft one in the first round since Big Ben. So there is that. But, yeah, no, I love Tyler Linderbaum, though. So I guess I don't mind this too much. Uh, the Broncos go Roger McCreary. What the hell, dude? Like, I love Roger McCreary, but what the heck? The only quarterbacks, cornerbacks, Patrick Sertan, Ronald Darby, and... Michael Ojemudia are under contract after the season. Dude, they're going to bring back Bryce Callahan. He's like one of the best slot receivers in the league that can also play on the outside. Like Kyler, Kyle Fuller, that's fine. He's, he's probably gone. They also have um, Embassy, so that's not true. Under contract. Don't they got, uh, what is it? Is, is it a same Bassey? The former Wake Forest guy that they drafted in the same draft as uh, Ojemudia? Uh, Ojemudia? Oh, golly, dude. How did I forget how to say his name? Yeah, I hate this pick. Um, that's not true. I like the prospect. I don't understand this pick. Who are you? Are you playing Darnold in the slot or Darby in the slot? Because McCurry is going to be an outside guy. Like, legit. Like, almost 2,000 of his 2,200 snaps came on the outside. Get a quarterback, man. What is this? What is this? What is this? Amateur hour? Uh, Jordan Davis going to the Las Vegas Raiders. I know Raiders fans would like this pick, but like, it's not sexy. I don't think it's what they need. I'd rather go corner. I'd rather go wide receiver. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there? I don't think there's a 
Offensive lineman I'm willing to take at this point. Nah. There's not. So yeah, I'd rather I'd rather go with maybe a Chris Olave or a uh you still got Sauce Gardner on the board. You got um you got who? What? Uh, Trent McDuffie. I think actually really good. Sch- Both those guys are good scheme fits. Speaking of which, Minnesota. They go Ahmad Gardner. Mike Zimmer loves corners in the first round. Everyone's doing this. This is literally everyone's making this pick. They're just cornerback Minnesota. David Ajabo. He's going to uh, the Chargers. I like that. I like that a lot. I think they could definitely use extra pass rush. Uh, who who's the I can't remember his name, dude. Who's the cat on the Chargers? It's like no Nwosu. Oh no, dude. Oh, just look at the Chargers roster. Chargers roster. Oh man, here we go. Oh man, I I should be looking at a depth chart. Uh, I'm gonna mispronounce this name regardless. Um, Nwus, I'm just gonna Nwusu. Oh, they got Kyler Fackrell there too, but uh, Nwusu is more of a rotation guy, I think. So yeah, nah, bring in another another edge, Chris Rump. Hello. Mm. I don't know. Maybe he sneaks into being a rotation guy too, dude. I loved Chris Rumpf coming out of Duke. Uh, the Dolphins, they go Darion Kennard. Uh, I'm not a fan of Darion Kennard in the first round. Dolphins, just let's get younger on the offensive line. I think it's stupid. I think Tyler Linderbaum is a better pick here just because, hey, it's safer. He's not available. So then what do you do? We could go with um, a receiver, Drake London. Traylon Burks, uh, uh, even Chris Olave. Um, where else could we go? Like their edge was George Karloftis, who's uh, a guy that could fill that Shaq Lawson role after he left. Uh, we could go. Uh, uh, we don't have to go safety. I don't know. I I don't like this pick. Jackson Kirkland going to the Bills. Guess what? I don't think he's a first rounder anymore, man. The year hasn't been ideal for him. He's probably more of a day two cat. Um, it feels like this mock happened like three months ago. <laughs> when it comes to Kirkland, actually, even with Kennard. But what is this? Like, who's he? Re- is he? Re- who's he replacing? Oh, okay. He lists him as an O lineman, so I guess he could play guard too. Which some people actually think he might be a better guard at the next level. Interesting. Interesting. Chris Olave going to uh, the Lions, so they get a vertical threat. Who would have thought? Ooh, this is spicy. Logan Hall going to the stinking um the Bengals, man, because. Yeah, he's kind of a Peyton Turner type of prospect, except for Peyton Turner actually played a lot on the outside while Logan Hall just doesn't really. He's going to have to go and do that and uh, go and do that during. Well, does he even get a senior bowl? I don't think he will. <gasps> That'll be interesting if he does. And is he up to 275? Because Houston lists him off as 260, I believe. Let's take uh, Let's take a look. Houston. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure he's listed as 260. No, they list him at 275? I wonder. I wonder. Uh, But yeah, the Bengals front seven's been kind of good, hasn't it? Let's take a quick look. Because I feel like I'd go corner here with Trent McDuffie still on the board because he's kind of a good scheme fit. Um, where else could you go? You could, well, I mean, offensive line. Who's really here for offensive line? I don't think anybody is. Let's see. Defense. Let's take a look at who's getting snaps. Because Sam Hubbard, they extended, and he's actually having a pretty darn good year, I think. Uh, at least in terms of being a finisher. 
His pressures pressures are okay, but that's all right. Because the guy they're paying big money, Trey Hendrickson, he's having a banger year. Uh, Larry Ogajobi's okay in the middle there. DJ Reader's been really good. Oh, I forgot they got BJ Hill too, man. Oh my gosh, dude. They're meaty. Because I know they like to run like five defensive linemen sometimes. That's why you also got Josh, uh, was it Tupo in there on the rotation? Uh, they have Cameron Sample, who I would say is a similar prospect to Logan Hall, except for Logan Hall, apparently, up to 275. Uh, don't they also have um, on edge the Texas Cat? Oh, man, I'm forgetting his name. Oh, man. Oh, they got Darius Hodge, too. I actually liked Darius Hodge a ton. Uh, Khalid Kareem, who's really just a depth guy at this point. Hey, Wyatt Ray. Oh, man, that's funny. I got to talk to Titan Upload. What happened to their boy, or Wyatt Ray? Who's the Texas cat, man? Oh, I guess he hasn't played a snap this year. Um. Oh, it hurts my head that I can't remember who's this cat out of Texas. Uh, Cincinnati. Oh, Bengals. Depth chart. Let's go with depth chart. Uh, he'll probably be listed on the reserves. Joseph Osai. That's right. Yeah, I don't get this pick, man. I feel like you're just strengthening a strength when you have a clear weakness at the cornerback two spot. Uh, let's get back into this, man. Enough talking about this. Uh, George Karloftis going to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Micah Parsons, which I can't even say, I can't even front because I think I ended up going edge at some point in my three round mock for the Cowboys. But Micah Parsons has been playing more on the edge, and you got Randy Gregory there, Demarcus Lawrence, you know, when he gets healthy. So, like, do they really need edge? We we clearly know that the secondary needs some help. That dude, Anthony Brown just had a terrible game. Co literally cost him the ga Raiders game on Thanksgiving. What he had like four PIs in that game. Uh, so Trent McDuffie, hello. You can even go um, Martin Emerson if that's your cup of tea. Kansas City Chiefs, Jahan Dotson. They need a receiver. Just get one of free agency, man. This defense sucks. It's an edge-rich draft. Invest in the edge, man. Marvin Leal's still on the board, by the way. Kinsey and Agbari as well. Uh, Devin Lloyd going to the Tennessee Titans. Um, if they don't bring back Harold Landry, this isn't a bad guy to kind of like be this guy that you could drop into coverage. Uh, you can blitz occasionally. Because, I mean, nah, they have to bring him back, dude. Bud Dupree was such a dumb sign-in. I called that, too. They pay, overpaid so much for him. Uh, but, yeah, I don't mind this one. Uh, Trent McDuffie going to Tampa Bay. The rich get richer. They get cornerback depth. Carlton Davis, he is uh, a free agent. So Drake London, I love this pick, actually. For the uh, New England Patriots, man. You get Mac and Cheese, a, a big body target that more times than not comes out with the football. This guy on contested catches this year, 18, well, no, 19 to 20, 28 before he went down with injury. And it's like, oh, how can you pull that stuff from your head? Because remember, before this video, I did my wide receivers rankings, except for I didn't hit record, and now I'm mad. Marvin Leal, this is honestly, if you're the Packers, this is an excellent pick because you don't expect a guy of this caliber to be here. And you can do a lot of fun things with him on this uh, defensive front. Uh, he could play next to Kenny Clark. He can um, line up at edge. Because uh, I really do think the Smith, both Smith brothers are gone. They're not actual brothers, but they have the same last name. So Preston and Zadarius, I think they're both gone after this year. So Kingsley and Agbari, dude. I'm just glad that he's listed as a first rounder. Uh, going, I guess he he's Derek Wolf replacement at this juncture. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's 270. I could be wrong. I was wrong about Logan Hall size apparently, but I like this. Traylon Burks is the final pick to the Arizona Cardinals. Like again, yeah, AJ Green once he's gone it makes sense. Uh, and plus having Burks available here. 
you want to expect it. It's a bit surprising. It's a bit surprising. Let's go, like, okay, for this mock, no Malik Willis, by the way. Uh, no Sam Howe, by the way. Sam Howe, why does he get crapped on, man? I don't get it. Uh, but Kingsley and Akbari, I would take him higher, but that's just me. DeMar Valil at 30? Like, I thought I'm down on him, and I got him around 20. To be fair, good players fall in the draft, but uh, Jahan Dotson, uh, I'm just not in love with Kansas City going receiver because their defense is so bad. Uh, George Karloftis, uh, just for the reasons I listed out, I just don't think they'll go that way. Uh, Logan Hall is a bit spicy in the first round, but I like that. I like when you like just throw your balls on the table and make a pick. Uh, Kirkland's not a first rounder. To me, Kennard's not a first rounder. Uh, Roger McCreary, I think this is kind of the dumbest pick of the draft. Uh, not because I don't like the prospect. I love McCreary. <gasps> oh, I got the hiccups. Holy moly. Carson Strong, I'm not in love with, or at least to the Saints. Uh, can he pick it? For me, it's too high, but I understand. I get it. Um, oh, yeah, this. We forgot about this. What the hell are they doing addressing the strongest part of their defense to be in the secondary? Stupid. Yes, stupid. Came on Thibodeau falling to four is kind of wild. Uh, Matt Corral at two. I don't know. Maybe. 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 But let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's it for the video. Go ahead and do this YouTube thing. And until next time, you be easy, my friends. Later.